Good morning and happy first day of winter. Winter's finally here. Um, this morning, instead of reading from my three minute devotional, I decided for the next days leading into Christmas, I'm going to read the story of the birth of Christ. Um, I'll leave down below one of the verses that I'm reading is and um, if you wanted to follow along with me. But today I'll be reading Luke 1, 1 through 25. But um, I just have to show this. Look how pretty this Bible is. And I got the tabs to match, but this Bible always makes me so happy <laughs> looking at it. But welcome to another day of Vlogmas. <laughs> Well, the time has come for the sensitive, emotional Jessica to enter the chat in Vlogmas. I mean, it wouldn't be Vlogmas without that, would it? <laughs> but no, that's just how I am. I feel things so deeply and I'm very sentimental. But um, like for reference, last night, a purple crayon made me cry. Um, there's more to it than that. It was just about a story that I've seen on social media where a child saw that like all the students were given their teacher a present and they didn't have anything to give. So they um, was looking through their stuff and they grabbed a purple crayon and gave it to the teacher and said, I, I want to give this to you because I know it's your favorite color. Well, the teacher said that was very meaningful and like they weren't, they're not teaching anymore. And to this day, that is the most meaningful and, uh, special present that she received but I was just like Ugh. <laughs> but um but anyways <laughs> I was just getting ready and uh scents for me like perfumes and different aromas really like bring back memories well I was getting ready and today I'm just wearing this uh whew little perfume that I usually just get the I know that's a, like a random thing but I usually get the smaller perfumes nowadays because I like to mix it up but this is the Givenchy very irresistible and I sprayed this all over me and instantly whoosh it just brought back to the, the time where like I was sharing in my a bedroom with my sister and uh this was the perfume that she picked out that year but uh I always remember when she wore it I was like oh man that smells so good um one of the reasons here's another side note which <laughs> one of the reasons we were even um contemplating getting this perfume is because the spokesperson was Liv Tyler and I was obsessed with Liv Tyler when I was in my teen years but um every time Katie sprayed this I'd be like oh man I should have got that one I really loved it <laughs> Um, and it's so funny, like how it smells differently on like, cause of your pheromones and stuff. Uh, it smells different on her. I like it on me, but not as much as I like it when she sprays it on her. But yeah, it's so funny. I just wanted to get on here and talk about that. Cause I just think it's so neat how like scents just bring you back to a time and you just remember certain memories. Good times. What's up everybody? Long time no see. Day 21. What's it going to be? Blue ball, which is hazelnut. I'll give that one to Jessica. I'm not a big fan of hazelnut, but it's getting pretty light. So Jessica and I are getting ready to head out and go to the local mall. Now this is called the Fort Stewart Mall, and it's kind of, I don't even know if it has any anchor stores, like any major department stores. Because I think this, yeah, this is our sixth Christmas here. And in these six Christmases, we've probably been to the mall once. Yeah, I think one time. The whole time we've been here. But that's just because there's nothing there. So this will be as much of a surprise to us as it is you. And we just figured we better document this now because <laughs> who knows how much longer we're going to have this mall here, huh? Yeah. Especially since the theater, I think the last time we went, they still had a theater, but it hasn't we haven't had a local theater in, uh, like, movie theater in five years. I don't know, something like that. But, well, off we go, I guess. Yeah, let's go to the mall. What do you mean, get the beep? Thinking this was a bad idea. Bringing Jessica here. I'm 
fucking, I don't even know what that is, like a bounce houses. Trees. Also, oh, there's the background. Got a cramp that's going on here. And the crystal. Well, that's probably the golf cart. What? Arcade's open there, right? This is a little fun fact. This used to be Payless Shoe Source. And this isn't my store that I worked in, but I did help out a couple times and I did work here to fill in for like people on vacation and stuff, but there's nothing here now. I'll get it and watch. I've been wanting this for, I don't even know, months. We're finally getting it. <laughs> it's good. So, it's like $7.99, I think, for these. Both of them? Yeah. Well, not each. <laughs> yeah, they had cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and nacho cheese. We got nacho cheese. I thought it was going to be an actual like pretzel. But they had a couple of those in the heater, the warmer, and they weren't very good, uh, <laughs> like, pretzel made. These whites are good. So, you can see some of the old stores that were here in the mall directory. Hasn't been updated for a while. Even has the, you want to point it out, Jess? But Payless Shoe Store? Yeah, has the Payless yeah. that Jessica and worked at a couple the times. And I remember the shoe department. We don't have Dick's Sporting Goods, it's just closed recently. What else? This isn't. So they had a Verizon. Wireless it's somewhat. And singular. Yeah, it's somewhat updated. There was a lot more Claire's. before, but man, did Payless just shut Verizon down recently? Then. I mean, uh, kind of. But yeah, some old ones. So we got the Grinch playing. Even that's funny. But uh, this building here. Let me try to scoot back. Get some view of it. Twenty-three years ago, I bought a ring here. And proposed to Jessica. This used to be K Jewelers. Every kiss begins with K. There, we were talking about there was another store that was like a sister store of K's, but we couldn't remember the name of it. I think it was a man male name. I don't. I can't remember. But we're trying to figure that out. If you know, let us know. So when I was younger, this was the place to be right here. It was a arcade, Aladdin's Castle. But I don't know. It used to be a recruiting thing. I don't know what else all changed into. But so a little reflection of the glass there, but back in there used to be the cinema. Used to be Carmike Cinema a long time ago and then changed into AMC. Now it's closed. Well, we're back from the mall and I think we were both pleasantly surprised. They do have an anchor store. They have a JCPenney. I just, I thought they closed. And I consider the Bath and Body Works and the GameStop tiny anchors they're so, all in this well I don't know if JC Penny was always there yeah JC Penny's always oh, been okay. there but yeah the game they, stopped I think they moved in the Bath and Body Works are in the same spots that they always were those are yeah because I think they moved into the old Sears I think that used to be Sears oh yeah that's what it was and uh did you guys have a Kmart like on no, the opposite no, oh was, okay Kmart was outside of the mall okay. I think it was in the plaza yeah Ours, 
our mall had Kmart on one side and and Sears on the other side. But, but yeah, we <laughs> tried the pretzels out. Those were good. We were happy yeah. with those. It was as soon as we walked into the mall, it was just like old times. It just Tim even said, "Boy, it even smells the same." <laughs> yeah, Which it, it does. just it took me into like today has been such a like this, trans oh, portive portive day like. Uh, I don't know. Just reminds me of a bunch of. It was really. I enjoyed myself at there with ten. There was hardly nobody there. A lot more people than I thought there would be. Yeah. But not but super crowded. This is a couple of days later into Christmas, and the mall was pretty. Oh, we didn't get to see Santa. Yeah, Santa wasn't there. They probably have him on a limited schedule because I don't know how often the kids go there. But yeah, it was pretty cool. One time we're going to have to go there and try to check out the arcade, maybe play some games, and uh, maybe maybe do it another another kind of, it's kind of like a fun little date. Go there and do a little hangout. Yeah. Like we used to do when we were teenagers. Hang out at the mall. <laughs> but um, and another obvious thing, yeah, we took a couple days off from mm -hmm. Vlogmas. Sorry yeah. about that. You got that... Uh, <clears throat> It seems like it, it's hard, like we're realizing we're not meant for daily vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't want to pre-record a whole lot of stuff this year. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think we're going to do daily vlogs. We'll try, but we're not going to set that expectation going forward. It's just, <laughs> it is what it is. You feel like we're, failures yeah. at Christmas time. But... Yeah, that's too much pressure. Yeah. But we didn't have much going on. It wasn't much to talk about to get on the camera and just talk about yeah, it's another day. I guess we could have just, even if, I, that's what we kind of say too, like we don't need to do a long video with, and all this stuff. We could just hop on, record, and just, like, and just say like, touch hey, base. it's another day, you know, just a quick touch base. But for some reason, we can't <laughs> even bring ourselves to do that. We have, we have to do all or nothing, like a whole thing, but it is what it is. But I think that's going to wrap up today, and hopefully we can get into some fun things tomorrow. Yeah, we have a uh, reindeer games oh, the season yeah. finale. I tonight. almost forgot. So the Big Brother reindeer games. So <laughs> that we watched Survivor last night finale, and uh, well, we'll see what happens with the reindeer games. Mm -hmm. well, that's all. We'll see you next time.